Whoa, 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 don't enter the quarantine area. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, you don't see the set? Only. Only. Oh, gosh. Are we allowed to even go in there? I'm, I'm pretty clean. Are you clean? <laughs> I, I think I need to take a shower first. Okay. All right, so this is the coral farm. <laughs> This is the coral farm. So we have roughly 46 raceways. And we have three 750s. Um, so there's a lot of tanks here. There's probably about six to eight radions each, uh, for each vat. There's a bunch of MP40s on it too. So there's tons of flow, tons of light. Um, great environment for all these different types of corals we're growing here. I can't help notice all the quarantine signs. We are very serious about our quarantine process here. Um, as you can see, Colby here is going through his 90 day process to make sure that he's pest free, doesn't have any hitchhikers or anything, and that way he doesn't contaminate the farm. Those 750s, whatever's grown in there is gonna be fragged. It's gonna be fragged and it'll end up coming in these tanks eventually. Um, that's where, you know, that's where it kind of starts off. Cool, so this is a total aquaculture. Yeah, this is where everything is going to be fully aquaculture. There's not going to be any wild corals at all. Uh, everything is going to be very well inspected. These are going to be very clean corals. Um, it's going to go in clean. And it's going to leave clean. So um, this is where it really kind of gets uh, really gets particular to um, you know the quarantine process and making sure that there's no pests or any hitchhikers or anything that you know we feel like we do not want in our tanks. So. Cool, so I see we got a lot of people working here. Let's let's go annoy them. Yeah, find out what they're doing. Uh, there's some people here. Let's go let's go see what they're doing. Just checking for bubble algae, you know, just getting some of the data off from the epoxy and making sure everything's nice and clean. The system is kinda new. You got a really good technique there, sir. Thank you. My name is Joey Shivo and I'm in charge of the water chemistry. Keeping all the parameters in check. How important is the water chemistry here? Very important. The health of the corals is important. We try and keep it in check 24 seven. We do a lot of online business and who we have here, Lewis is actually taking some photos for our live sale. Hey Lewis, how's it going? What's up fellas? Mind if we bother you for a minute here? Not bothering me at all. Looks like you're scanning them for a video game. <laughs> you would think, right? No, I am shooting 2,500 corals for our next live sale. Every single one of our frags gets its own shot. We make sure the coral is really healthy. There's a lot of things that we can see in the photo that you can't necessarily see through the water. So we make sure that we're selling the best corals out there on the market. So would you say you're like the paparazzi of worldwide corals? <laughs> you just hit my mom. How do you hit your mom? Uh, well, yeah, I don't have to stock them down since they come to me. <laughs> uh, my name's Sean. I'm here, you know, in the farm at Worldwide Corals. I work on keeping all the corals healthy. That's my main goal. That's my job. I work on the tanks over there and whatever they entail about cleaning them, feeding them. How'd you end up here? Uh, I was a diver over at SeaWorld and my good buddy Sean Haley uh, called me over and asked if I wanted to work here. And I said, yeah, I've always had an interest in uh, corals. So that's what brought me here. So this area back here, is basically the old farm. This is Victor's collection of corals, and this is where we basically grow everything and uh, make sure it's all looking good and healthy before we you know, put it in the next system. So since we have so many corals, it'd be really cool if you could show us some of your favorite. But, of course. Um, actually, we forgot to introduce you. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about <laughs> what you do here? Um, well, my name is Frank. I've been at Worldwide for two and a half years. I've uh, been in the industry for 15. I've known Victor for pretty much most of that time that I've been in the industry. Um, I've actually worked in the wholesale in LA for a little while, moved to Florida, and this is where I am now. I can be happier. So these are the OG bounce mushrooms. Um, they are quite popular in the hobby. Uh, they showcase a you know, bunch of bubbles and uh, some, some of the, you know, one of my personal favorites, I would say, uh, in the collection. 
This one is the Superfly Chalice. Um, you've probably seen it on the website from time to time, but it's a rainbow chalice. It's got different colors on the rim, and it's just a spectacular chalice. And we got this other chalice here, which is called an Oblivion Chalice. Uh, this guy, same thing, has been in the hobby for quite a while and um, showcases a lot of really, really nice, bright, vibrant colors on these. So here's a coral that I feel like a lot of people overlook. Um, it's called a Leptastria coral, and they're fairly easy to keep, but there's one in particular that I'm very fond of. Um, this one is called Burning Leptastria, and the reason why we gave it that name because it has that kind of burning looking effect. It's got really bright yellow uh, center to it, and it's just super vibrant, and it just looks like it's on fire. fire. So there's another piece in here that's kind of strange um, that a lot of people might not know of. It's called an Astriopora. But the polyps are elongated and they're very large compared to a Montipora. I know this is kind of just a standard green, but the coral lights on this guy is just something different than you, what you normally see. And this one is called Illuminati Zoas. Um, you can find them on our website, but these have very striking speckled coloration. It grows very, very well, and I just think a lot of people just like zoanthids. Uh, very easy to keep. So there's a couple of things that's kind of cool in this tank right here. Um, this one in particular is a Christmas worm rock, and I don't know if you guys seen on Reef Builders, but he did a whole episode on his uh, Christmas worm por porites rocks. Uh, that he loves and enjoys very much. And we have one right here, as, as you can see. And uh, it's been here for quite a while and we, we really enjoy taking a look at it and uh, seeing all the cool feather dusters that are on there. This is our filtration sump for our fish systems behind me. And there's the UV sterilizer for it. So now what we got behind me is this is our vat for our mixing our water, and this is what is going to allow us to do big water changes on all of our systems. Um, even for the big tank in the store, and also the farm in the back. So when we saw the retail section, that was about, uh, I believe, 5,000 square feet. And so the farm here is 6,000 square feet, so total will be about 11,000 square feet altogether. In a future video, we'll show you guys some of the offices. There's probably about 4,500 square feet yep. of internet office and behind the scenes stuff that you can take a look at. We'll be back for some more, I'm sure, and we'll show you guys some more things as we go along. Cool, so don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.